Next up is a formal meal. I split this one into a formal meal and then the next one will be informal meal just because I think these can be very different. And so I'll, I can't, I really, really, really cannot get on board with meals for first dates because like, we, I think Shut up and take my money. Courtney doesn't get it because she's a woman, but there are so many women out there that will use a guy for free food on a first date, which is just like, I didn't even know these like type of bottom feeding humans that existed, but they're out there. Um, I think they did a study too, right? They did. It was called a food. It was a foodie call study. Let me see if I go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. This is a real study. Pull it up real quick. This is a 2019 study. Okay. Foodie calls when women date men for a free meal rather than a relationship. Uh, so they found out that 23 to 33 percent of the women surveyed had engaged in a foodie call. Okay, so that means they just went on a date with a man for the ex like exclusively just to get some food. I wonder what the sample size were real quick. Let me check this out real quick. Let's see how many women they surveyed for this. Da, 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 da. 820 women. So out of them, 20, so medium age was 34. Standard deviation between the ages was 11, basically. Single, married, currently in relationship, but not married. 96 were, wait, white were 75%, African American 11%, Asian 7%, Hispanic 5%, other were 2%. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there are, I mean, you know, one, in, like one third of these women here, approximately 23 to 33%. So, you know, like I said, for me, like, and, and here's how you notice too, like, okay, if you get on a date, right, when the girl is, um, when the girl is like sitting there and you see her like ordering a bunch of food, it's like, uh, definitely it's definitely a red flag if she's ordering a bunch of food, right? That a bunch of appetizers and she's like going ham. Okay. And then from there, you really need, uh, it, it can, you, you need to like quickly calculate your exit plan. And so how you can do for you guys, cause I work at the restaurant industry. Okay. So what you can do is, um, you just excuse yourself from table. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Go find the waiter, go find a manager, be like, and, and, and just talk to them directly. Be like, hey, listen, here's the deal. I'm on a first date. I think this girl is just here trying to get free food out of me. She's ordering a bunch of stuff. I don't want to do this. How can I get out of this situation right now? Because I want to go home like immediately. And one, if it's other girls, right, they'll most likely respect you and low key be attracted to you because you have the balls to stand up for yourself. And then two, um, there is a way out there. You and listen, you do not owe this woman a mother thing, guys, especially if she has the audacity to come on a date, rack up a gigantic bill, expect you to pay for it and then disappear and go fuck some other guy. OK, this is how we bring back balance to the force. You men need to start manning up and having some self-love, because if you love yourself, you're not going to tolerate that. You are not going to tolerate, waste your time, waste your money. You got to sit there and look at her ugly face because you know she's a piece of shit person. So I personally say no food dates until after you have sex with her. Sex is the gateway for her to get food on a date in front of you. If she doesn't like it, peace out, bitch. Go and get yourself a silver medal because the champ is here, okay? You could drink some coffee with me. We could fucking, you know, do coffee dates. And we're going to talk about some other dates you could do as well. but. Honestly speaking, no. Okay. And the thing is, now, if you decide you want to do a food date, okay, you have to understand you're making, you're, you're rushing into something to a degree that is, uh, could be, be, not be beneficial to you. You need to get her on the phone. You need to talk to her. You need to ask her some questions and have a good amount of conversation going beforehand, talking to her on FaceTime, talking to her on the cell phone, like actual phone. 
game, not just texting like all you weirdos just text, 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 then show up and you realize, oh, this girl doesn't like me. Well, do you didn't screen her. All right. So that right there is super, super, super important. Find out, does she really like you? And then don't take her to some, oh my God, for you guys that have money that watch me, do not spend anything more. Dude, if you're, if it's a first date, dude, the max, I'm talking for you guys that got money, okay? The max you want to be spending is $70, including tip, okay? And this is after you've screened her and found out that she actually is into you and you want to go to a restaurant that you like, okay? You're not doing things for her on the first date. She should be the one looking to impress you because you're the one providing more benefit down the road as a man in the relationship, first of all, okay? She should just be happy to be with you. So, and then secondly, um, and then see, uh, David Jones, $5 super chat. If she expects free food on the first date, then she has money to buy plan B on her own. <laughs> Follow her to the pharmacy, watch her swallow. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Rich Cooper's in the house. He just wants to let everybody know he pays for pussy. Oh, Rich, we're gonna we're gonna help you out, buddy. We're gonna help you out. Oh, I know you do. I know you do. Let's see. Uh, well, I am going to a Japanese barbecue for the first date. Oh man, oh man. If you're in Japan, it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, like the the you got to protect yourself on these dude. These girls are retarded, bro. Okay. Um, they will, tr they will try and use you for a free food meal. It, it, it is, it is honestly, yes, they are that pathetic. They are that pathetic guys. The ones that do it. Create an incredibly different atmosphere and just kind of vibe on the date. So first one here is a formal date. You know, a formal fancy meal can seem like a good idea. And for some people, I'm sure that it's totally fine, but I think there are a few reasons why this is not the best option. Again, keep in mind for this one, I'm talking about something that's more formal and more fancy, something that you need to get dressed up for, something that's going to be very expensive. I think for a lot of people, this can be kind of unsustainable and create a sort of sense of false expectations or unrealistic expectations. I think it creates more pressure. You're locked into a lengthy meal. It's more expensive. Um, I think this one is something that would be better to save for date two or date three or further in. Once you've sort of established a connection with someone and you know that you're both into each other, and you would like to see each other again. And I think if a girl makes it seem like you need to take her to a five-star restaurant or somewhere very fancy, or she won't be into you, then I don't know if I'd recommend going out with her, yeah. just to be honest. So I'm going to put a formal, fancy-ish meal in B tier. You're crazy. You're crazy. Formal, fancy, B, no. Absolutely. This is why women are running amok nowadays. First date, at a, if you have extremely vetted this girl, which a majority of men have not, then yes, but no, 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 no. And here's a big red flag too. If you're on a date with a girl and it's nice food and stuff being taken, being brought to the table, if she's taking a picture in a way that you could see her taking a picture with her phone, that it shows she looks like she's there by herself, she absolutely is not there 100% because she likes you for the long term. Because if she really wanted to flex, she would take a picture with like the plate and like two drinks in the background. And then she, she'd be like signaling to her friends and to the world, like I'm on a date with somebody. Okay. But if she's taking a picture of the food in an angle, that's like, you're not there. It's not showing two glasses, stuff like that. Guys, she belongs to the streets. check, please. See you later. I'm out.